Okay, dokie guys, it has been a long time that we have played with uh, this game. So, I decided to come uh, back into the game and somehow I decided to make another video about the Taiga because uh, this is my main uh, game here and uh, I have suffered very much at the beginning while playing with this game because obviously I didn't know about the Taiga truck but then I decided to make uh, a video to show you guys the best truck in the game and I still think that the Taiga is the best all-around truck in the game so uh, we are over a year now that I've done that video I think so I decided to make another video to show you guys uh, how easily and how quick in the game you can get uh, the Taiga so we're gonna go here we're gonna start a new game and I'm gonna show you guys um, how easy it is to get obviously I could have put a timer um, uh, into the game and show you guys uh, how much time uh, it takes to get the taiga but it is like uh, 2 20 p.m. Uh, right now so we're gonna start um, uh, right away with the game so basically just go uh, uh, with a basic tutorial you don't have to do anything special you can uh, uh, fast travel to uh, to other uh, maps uh, as soon as you get um, uh, as soon as you get through the tutorial and go to the first garage so it's going to be very very easy you just have to do the basic tutorial maybe one or two uh, I don't know uh, very very simple missions just to get the stars and the money and you are going to be able to get uh, the Targa so uh, yeah here we are uh, going ahead uh, with the first mission that we have basically uh, just uh, explore the new watchtower and this is the first thing that you need to do when you start a new game and this is really helpful because it's going to be much much easier for uh, easier for you guys if you follow this tutorial and get the targa and then um, yeah the game is going to be much easier because that truck it's really OP really really OP okay let me get uh, to the watchtower and see you guys uh, in a bit okay now almost there this is the first mission so basically just drive uh, to the first watch tower and uh, that's it we launch the observation or the scene here obviously you can skip it and with this one we're going to get an upgrade location as you see which is going to be oh wait just a second which is going to be up here so my suggestion is go uh, is uh, to go right ahead and get this upgrade with this truck you can get it uh, very easily the road it's not uh, very difficult you can go either here or you can go uh, this route or you can go this route here which is the one I prefer so just go uh, next step just go ahead and grab the upgrade and then we'll begin from there Okay, I forgot to tell you guys because uh, when you're here, since you are very near to this watchtower, you can go and explore this watchtower if you want. It is not necessary uh, for the mission, but since it's very near, if you, t uh, if you took the route that I took here, so instead of going there, you can make the detour. It's going to be like 30 seconds, even uh, less than a minute to get this, and then we can go to the upgrade. So it's totally up to you, but since you're here, you... Uh, you better do it because it's really near okay guys almost there to the upgrade now it's going to be a little bit of sketchy road here but uh, it's not impossible you can easily do it and obviously if you crash you can uh, you can uh, always reset so it's not going to be a problem so after you get this upgrade obviously the next thing to do because we are in the first tutorial is to go and find our first truck so this one it's going to be a lot easier and then you can uh, uh, then you can go straight by the way uh, the time is 2 34 p.m. so basically 14 minutes uh, into the game uh, it's been like 10 minutes playing because obviously I am recording the videos and I have to think what to say I also went ahead and watched the video how it looks with the audio and everything uh, it's not that I like it very much, but at least you guys can en uh, can understand uh, um, everything at least can hear uh, Anything so that's good. Anyway, let me get uh, to the truck really quick guys and again catch you in a bit 
Okie dokie guys, almost there, we got our first truck, that's uh, it, so now we go to the other truck right away and obviously the first thing that we need to do is go and uh, build uh, the road, oh well, uh, the bridge here, we have the bridge that we have to build here so we can go to the garage, so first thing we need to do obviously and go and grab uh, the bridge here okay activate the job so as you see uh, this uh, old bridge needs uh, a metal beam times one which we need to go here to the city we're very near here we go and grab uh, the metal beam here and then take it to the bridge and then we go back to the road to lumber mill get two wooden planks and then take them here and that's uh, it so basically we are 2 40 p.m uh, so yeah, uh, less than 20 minutes and uh, it's 20 minutes, but it's less than 20 minutes because obviously I'm recording and everything and stuff So it's going to be much faster. So yeah, let's go and grab the metal beams and then wooden planks and uh, build the bridge so uh, Yeah, I don't want to take you guys uh, too long uh, for this trip So let me go ahead and do this really quick and again uh, catch you guys uh, in a bit okay guys we are here so obviously i know that i don't have to show you this but obviously for the new people this is going to be uh maybe new so basically you just go here you load the metal beams and basically that's it let's close and we will take this to the bridge obviously i know the road but if you don't know the road you open the map and you can set it like this you can set waypoints with a right click or with a controller if you use a controller and you go here and there where we need to go but obviously I already know the road so it's not going to be a problem so we're gonna uh, I'm gonna go there I'm gonna unload uh, the metal beams and then we're gonna go for the wooden planks so catch you guys uh, there okay we are here now careful break 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 okay see cargo unload and that's it we are done with the metal beams now i'm gonna go and grab uh at the lumber mill two wooden planks which is uh, totally fine for this truck and this flatbed that it has and we'll be back uh, in a second come on truck almost there almost there come on come on come on come on come on come on okay and basically uh, that's uh, it for the bridge and now we can go to the uh, unload both of them we can go to uh, the uh, garage and from now on it's a uh, uh, very easy and by the way it is uh, two oh shoot okay we'll take that it is uh, oh, come on yeah, yeah i know it is uh, 2 50 pm so basically what is it half an hour yeah half an hour well uh, ob uh, obviously less than half an hour cuz because uh, uh, obviously uh, I'm doing other stuff uh, besides uh, playing so if you are focused on going as fast as you can obviously try not to damage the truck is going to be much faster but now we just have to get to the garage obviously for the people that don't know the garage is just follow the road do not go for this uh, watchtower because it's uh, difficult especially for this truck basically the garage is the uh, uh, go away uh, let me just go a little bit up so basically just go down this road well just stick on the main road that's it do not turn uh, no left no right uh, just go straight just go straight and you're gonna go uh, to the garage so yeah catch you guys uh, up there okie dokie guys and we are here at the garage so here make a right turn immediately for a very simple reason to go uh, before we go to the garage we have one two and a three trailers here so basically <laughs> three stars so you get those and that's it we also yeah we are we also have a free truck there that we need to uh that we need to fix uh, and uh, and we can get it uh, okay new star discovered 100 stars okay and now let's uh, move to the garage immediately and first thing you need to do here is go to customize go to frame mods 
and go to where is it where is it um sideboard here and uninstall because this truck uh, does uh, not need uh, this one uh, because we're not gonna use this truck, we're gonna use uh, this sideboard bed for with the other trucks, basically with the Taiga. So we don't have to buy it for the Taiga, but we can get it from, uh, we can get it from this truck, and basically uh, that's it. Then uh, we leave the garage. You can leave the truck here. Uh, you can retain it or just. Um, Okay, oh yeah, we need to, first we need to travel, I forgot that we need to travel. So first thing we need to follow, basically we need to follow the, uh, the tutorial. So we need to uh, retain the truck, then we open the global map with G, then we go to, okay, we need to go to Alaska this time. We go here, then go to the garage, click on the garage and enter there and basically that's it this is uh, the tutorial then we go to the truck storage we deploy the truck go back leave the garage and that's it for the tutorial just move this truck out of the way because we don't need it i would suggest you sell it but you can keep it if you want don't worry about that let's see if i can explore this trailer because i see a trailer here so we can get some free stars yes thank you very much i don't think we have trucks here yes okay Next, we go back again. Uh, no, we go to the main map. We go to Michigan. We go to uh, the garage. Or you know what? Let's get yeah. Let's get uh, let's get the truck. Yes. Let's go to the garage. And then retain the truck. And then let's go back to Michigan. To the garage again. Where is it? Garage here, entrance. Yes, you can click on the map, obviously, but I find it a little bit easier this way. Uh, then go to truck storage, deploy. Do not make the mistake of selling the truck if you if you don't want to sell it, of course. Then go back, leave the garage. Now, the only thing that we're going to do now, because we have a very, very simple job here. So basically, if we go to the map and we go here to object, uh, to contracts, Husky forwarding, we have a farming tool. So basically, we just need to take the trailer with the tools and take it to the farm, which is really, really easy to do. So basically, activate, go back, and then go grab uh, uh, the trailer here, which is already here. I mean, you don't need to do it, but... Uh, you can use it for money. I mean, it's really easy. It's really fast. You don't have to do... I mean, I'm doing a mess here because I want to go as fast <laughs> as possible. But yeah, obviously, trying to go fast, it's not always the right thing to do. Let's connect the trailer. And that's it. Basically, that's delivery to the farm, which is really, really near. So let's just take... Uh, let me take it there and catch you guys in a second. Oh my god, this truck is a mess. Now I remembered at the beginning, I used to drive with a trailer and with a load on it because it would spin very much. So it took me a long time to get here, guys. And I'm barely making So that's why I decided to make a video so you guys do, don't have to go through this. Oh my god, okay, let's... Uh, uh, no, what, what, what load? Oh shoot, okay, sorry. We need to go... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, am I, am I, okay, okay, I'm tracking it. Okay, that's it. Next step to do, leave this crap truck here and then let's go to the other truck, which is the Chevrolet. Here, get to the Chevrolet and then we recover it to the garage quickly. Then we go to customize and in here we're gonna get the race suspension first. Okay, yes install them and then the tires we're gonna go with uh, the all-terrain tires the 36 i think uh, yeah i think these are no wait yeah i think these are the best i mean yeah good okay mud uh, you need to get this one uh, the 38 as uh, 2 not as1 because they are good off-road but not good on mud and we need good on mud uh, this uh, one also is good for tarmac, but not good on off-road and mud. So get the two, the AS2. 
so we purchase uh, this one also now what we want to do is retain this truck to the truck storage and then go to alaska then go there immediately garage uh, yes go in then 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 immediately truck storage uh, deploy not sell do not make the mistake then we get out okay and we are in alaska now here what we need to do basically just follow the main road here you need to uh, uh you need to um, explore this watchtower it's really easy to do so let me go ahead and do that and we'll go from there okay dokey oh don't go into the mud okay almost uh, there uh, come on come on nice yes watchtower got the stars so we can rank up okay got the watchtower so now what we want to do is get back again or on this road it's going to be uh, much more difficult you need to go back to the main road and just uh, and uh, just follow the main road and then I'm going to explain why okay and we are here just following the main road now you might think oh my god what we're going to do well basically uh, this is why we're here this is why uh we're doing this uh, i'm doing this to show you guys you don't have to build the road basically you just go around that obviously be careful here not to damage the truck it's not going to be a problem with the oh with the upgrades that we made so there it is we go on the other side and we keep on <laughs> going basically what we're going to do is go for this watchtower so basically just follow the road and it's going to be uh very easy to find it so let me go there and then i'll show you guys what you want to do next okay finally got uh, the watchtower and by the way guys um, uh, this is going to be the most difficult part of the journey but you have to be patient with this truck uh, you can get stuck but uh, yeah you cannot get fully stuck it might seem that you're going really slow but at least you're uh, going so with that said let me tell you why i did that because we need to go here and we need to get the royal bm17 i think this is the second better best truck that you can get into the game especially at the beginning of the game so uh, this truck uh, paired with the taiga is going to be the very very best combination of trucks that you can use in this game and you don't you have to use any other trucks only these two trucks is going to be fine so we're gonna go now for this upgrade and then for the truck and basically that's it we're gonna go from there so let me go there guys and catch you back in a second again okay guys uh, now comes the really difficult part this is all puddle uh, you are going to spend a lot of time here just go easy uh, but anyway just uh, stick on the right so you can uh, use the logs uh, for pulling yourself with the winch but what I like to do sometimes when you go off-road this way sometimes the terrain is going to be hard so you might want to give it a try unfortunately this time I think it's not working but I you know what I think we're we're doing it come on come on come on come on a little bit further okay Ooh, okay that went smooth because yeah remember sometimes uh, 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 these roads can be much easier but sometimes you can get uh, uh, stuck much worse so be careful but anyway we have the tree so at least we can pull ourselves out with the winch and I'm guessing you know how to use the winch of course oh shoot instead of stopping the winch I stopped the four-wheel drive system you can use the low gear whatever you prefer don't worry it's not imperative what you need to use okay with that said we can go uh, this way because we need to go to that upgrade first obviously you you can set the waypoint huh because I know the road but yeah you can set the waypoint of course so let's go here and then the truck here so it's really easy to understand come on oh come on come on, come on. easy 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 you don't want to go too deep into the woods though 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's stay up. I don't want to go into the water. So let's stay up here. So at least we have the trees to hook ourselves if we get stuck. Okay, let's get this upgrade. Nicely done. Engageable all-wheel drive, so that's why we need to get it, because it's really important thing. So let's get that way. Okay, that's it. Oh, shoot. I, again, I stopped the four-wheel drive system. So now we're going to go on the other side and get the truck. If you go in the middle of the water, it's going to be much, much more difficult and time-consuming. So I would really suggest you go the route that I took here. Hopefully it's not going to be too deep mud for you. Let's go back. Turn again. Come on. Sorry guys. I know it's getting a little bit long as a video, but I think it's really useful because as I told you, I have suffered a lot. So I don't want you guys to suffer the same thing. Okay, that's it. Discover the truck. And that's it. Now, we, oh shoot, sorry, we go to the next step, oh shoot, we go to the Royal Beam, we uh, recover it as quickly as possible. Now, we are ready to go with this truck, let's see what we can customize, I don't think we can customize anything though, we can get a better engine but we don't need it, gearbox is fine, suspension we don't have, tires, oh yeah, we have a little bit better tires but yeah they are the same basically winch we already have the winch we don't need a spare wheel okay what we need to do next is go and grab the where is it uh shoot where is it where is it we cannot get this one because we needed this one actually but we cannot get it yet so we need to get this one here we have the money obviously we need to get this purchase yes now we go back back again we retain the truck and we are ready go to the global map go to time here go to drown lands come on and go to the garage okay okay truck storage deploy please please guys do not make the mistake and sell it I have done this before, so please don't do it. Okay, we are ready to go. This is four-wheel drive now, so it's uh, very easy to control. So we get it here. Now we go and grab uh, the scout truck first. Okay. And the reason why we get this truck, it's uh, really easy. So first, we go here, so we save a little bit of time. And go to attachments, get the truck. And that's it, we go with both of them. Now we turn on the engine on the second truck. We pull the wind so the truck is going to be near. Okay. And we just drive there. Now the place where we need to go is, is we need to go here. There's the taiga that we need to get, there it is. So basically you can set the waypoint here, then here then here then here and uh, there is uh, the taiga so let's uh, keep on going turn on the engine on uh, the other truck so it's going to be much more controllable now okay we can go like this until we can go if we get stuck you can let the truck go the truck behind i mean it's not needed but i do this uh, to save time and by the way we are one hour in so basically we are already going to the taiga which is really impressive actually and i chose a really bad time in the morning uh, at uh, russia because uh, russia is a really hard terrain unfortunately and don't worry it's not that i'm pulling the truck behind me the truck is driving itself i don't know but somehow this is how it works on this game Okay, so let me get into another point. And by the way, here I forgot. You can try and go into the grass again. Here, for example, uh, ahead we have a, a place where it is really bad with the mud. 
So you can try and go to the right or you can try and go to the left. Sometimes it's going to be dry, sometimes it's not. Uh, okay, for me it seems that it's going to be dry this time, so that's good. Okay, let me get where I want to go and catch you guys in a bit. Okay, now, as you can see, there is the taiga. I hope you can see it here. It is. Now, is, if you see, there is a trail that takes you back, uh, straight back there to the taiga. But what you want to do, you don't want to follow this trail because it's, it's going to be a nightmare. What we want to do here, let's just first release this truck because it's a really bad road. What you want to do is go on the other side. Do not follow the trail. You can do it because I've done it first time but it's going to be really difficult now here you can take that bridge or you cannot it's going to be a really difficult bridge so try not to crash there or roll over but if you roll over you can always uh, recover the truck so don't worry I like to go in this path it's going to be difficult with the truck to go to this path but you can do it either on the bridge or either here that uh, where I've done with the truck now what you want to do to go to the taiga is go to this turn go straight usually 90 percent of the time is going to be dry so it's not going to be a problem and then go around do not go straight to the taiga go around i know you're going to get a little bit of damage but don't worry it's not a big problem uh, then you go come on come on come on come on come on come on then you go here okay nice then we take the job okay and we are good to go what we want to do to get the taiga is to fix it and that's uh, and that is uh, wait oh shoot we need to start tracking with x okay now we started uh, when we see this icon now we are uh, we have started tracking now we go uh, to the uh, to the other truck to the royal okay now uh, this is going to be the difficult part with the royal to get uh, on this bridge uh, it's going to be really difficult actually so hopefully we are going to make it but anyway you are going to roll over maybe but it's not a problem you can recover the truck and come back here again it's going to take you like uh, one minute to come from uh, the but what I want to risk this time is go straight here and the reason is that we are touching down here on the back as you see that's going to be a problem but i know that this truck can do it come on come on truck you can do it come on 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 truck you have done it many times oh come on yay i did it i did it oh come on come on oh rocks 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 come on rock oh shoot okay uh, again, you're going to roll over maybe, but it's not a problem. You're just going to lose like one or two minutes of time. No. So now what you want to do is go straight to the taiga. You can go like this. It's not important how you go. Just go near the taiga and that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't roll over. Okay. Now here we go to the functions and go to uh, repair. And we're going to repair uh, the taiga. Do not repair uh, the Royal BM-17. Uh, Press D or A or whatever is your numpad and go with the Taiga. It needs to be selected the Taiga here. So go to all. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough with all. We need to do another road. That's why we got this mod. Uh, next, we go and refuel it. So let me get... Okay, repair that. Let me go back to the functions again. Refuel. We're going to refuel. No, source is going to be the maintenance thing. And target is going to be the Taiga refuel. It's, it needs to get fully refueled and needs to get fully restored to be able to get the truck. Now, what we want to do is really easy. You don't have to go back. Just recover. Go back to the garage. Leave the garage. And that's it. We're ready to go for another road and go and fully fix uh, the taiga so let me go up there guys and uh, we'll pick up from there okay guys this time i'm gonna try the bridge so this is going to be really difficult but we're gonna give it a try just hammer here do not stop do not stop it's going to be worse if you stop 
So I was fortunate, I would say, because I usually tumble over here, roll over on that bridge, but yeah, you can do it like that if you see, or you can go the other route that I did last time. So it can be done both ways. Come on truck, again, uh, the, B, uh, the BM do not use it with low gear, it's going to be worse. Just keep it in high gear, because in low gear somehow, even in all-wheel drive, the uh, the the front uh, tires they do not move so keep that in mind with the BM17 okay so let's go again here please do not tumble over okay we can stop there it's fine get back again repair we're going to repair the Taiga make sure it's all selected all so let me get into another road and be with you guys in a second so with the magic of uh, editing uh, yeah one two three and come on team we can do it so as you saw unfortunately I got tumbled over this time when I got into the bridge but yeah the small Chevrolet got us out so well, that's fine that's really nice. Come on, come on, last stretch. We can do this. Come on, Taiga, here we go. And come on, uh, SnowRunner, here we come. Because now we are ready to play SnowRunner without caring too much. Oh my god, I thought I almost tumbled over there. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Woo, that was okay. Uh, repair. Okay, fully repaired. Nice. <laughs> we got the beast. So, what we need to do now? Just go recover this one. Yes, please. Then um, leave the garage. Okay. Then uh, go to the Taiga. Get it. V. Recover it. Yes, please. Thank you very much. We go right away and install the no no uh, the sideboard that we got. Install it because obviously we're gonna work with this truck mostly. You can install uh, other upgrades. I think we have only tires. Yes, these tires these are going to be much better uh, in the mud than the tires uh, uh, that uh, that we had obviously because these are more uh, for tarmac. So we can install this one. If you don't have the money, don't worry. It's not going to be a problem. Then we can go and get the CK also. So let's uh, go to... Uh, oh yeah, we can retain it. We don't have to leave. Then go to the map again. Time here. here. Go to get the CK. Yes, please. Uh, recover it. Yes. Uh, retain it. Then go to the map again, go and grab, grab the royal, yes, recover this one too, retain it. Okay, and we are ready to rumble guys. Now, from now on, you can continue playing in the dry lands to get the upgrades for the taiga to get it fully upgraded, but it's going to be... Uh, difficult obviously so I would suggest you go from Michigan Alaska and then uh, so you can take the uh, the maps uh, um, as they are in line but you can decide whatever you want to do but now Michigan is going to be really really easy with the Taiga and with the BM 17 you don't need anything else you can go for the watchtowers you can go for anything you want is going to be uh, very very easy now with uh, the taiga uh, in a pocket so there you go uh, the hour by the way is uh, 3 50 p.m. so basically it took us uh, okay one and a half hours but actually it's uh, way less than that because obviously I went to, to the bathroom um, I also did uh, other things uh, so because obviously I'm recording 
and um, yeah it can actually take uh, much uh, less time if you are faster than me i also tumbled over once so i had to obviously get myself up truck storage uh, deploy the taiga okay leave garage and we are ready to go guys this truck is really really good it has a really good uh, fuel amount but you can use fuel mods it has uh, all wheel drive always on it has diff lock always on so it's going to be really really good especially in here you can sell all the other trucks that you will find through the map to get um, uh, to get the money you don't need any of those if you want to know how to upgrade now obviously some of the upgrades you can find them through the map and some of the upgrades can be attained by leveling up or by earning stars uh, basically and on the next video I'm gonna go how you can level up really really fast now that we have um, uh, this truck uh, and it's going to be really really easy you can do that on this map that we are right here so that's why i decided to come here so definitely stay tuned for the next video because i'm going to show you how you can level up really really fast really really easy and it's going to be a walk in the park so basically you can fully upgrade the trucks and maybe have fun with the game alrighty then that was it for today thank you very much guys really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also turn on post notifications and there you go the best truck in the game overall best truck in the game in less than two hours one hour uh, and a half it took me uh, it might take you less to you it might take you a little bit more but uh, who cares at least we have the best truck and it's going to be much much easier from now on and you're going to have so much fun with the game alrighty then that's it guys again thank you very much for being here and as usual i will catch you on the next one bye bye